I'm going to tell you a story, a parable from an ancient proverb. Welcome to another episode of Parables of Proverbs, where we delve into the lives of men and women who have left a lasting impact on the world through their unwavering faith in God and selfless devotion to others. Today, we will be talking about the life and legacy of Nate Saint, one of the most courageous and inspiring missionaries of the 20th century. Nathaniel Saint was born in 1923 in Texas, USA. He was raised in a Christian family, and from a young age, he showed a passion for aviation. After serving in World War II, he attended a Bible college and felt a calling to become a missionary. He eventually joined the Wycliffe Bible Translators Mission Organization and was sent to Ecuador in 1949 to work with the Wadani tribe an indigenous people with no prior exposure to Christianity or Western civilization. The Wadani tribe was known for their aggression and hostility towards outsiders, and many attempts to reach out to them had failed. But Nate was determined to share the love of Christ with them and approached them with kindness and respect. He took the time to learn their language and culture, and eventually, his efforts paid off as he gained their trust. Over time, he and his team were able to share the gospel with the Wadani, and many of them came to faith in Jesus. Despite the progress being made, not everyone was happy with the work Nate and his team were doing. In 1956, a group of hostile Wadani attacked and killed Nate and four of his colleagues. The news of their deaths shocked the world, and many people wondered why they would risk their lives for such a dangerous mission but the impact of their sacrifice was far-reaching as their deaths brought attention to the Wadani people and their need for the gospel. Despite the tragedy, Nate's widow, Olive Saint, continued the work of the mission and eventually many Wadani came to faith in Jesus and turned away from their violent ways. Today, the Wadani tribe is known for their love for God and their passion for sharing the gospel with others. The life and legacy of Nate Saint continue to inspire and encourage missionaries and believers all over the world. He taught us that true courage and sacrifice come from a deep love for God and a willingness to serve others, no matter the cost. His unwavering devotion to sharing the gospel, even in the face of danger, serves as a reminder of the power of faith and the transformative effect it can have on people's lives. One of the most remarkable things about the Saint family is the way they have continued to love and serve the Wadani people, even after the tragedy of Nate's death. Nate's daughter, Rachel Saint, visited the Wadani tribe as an adult and shared with them the message of salvation in Jesus. She also had the incredible opportunity to forgive the tribesmen who murdered her father, demonstrating the power of God's love and forgiveness. Rachel's visit to the Wadani tribe was a powerful testimony to the transformative power of love and forgiveness. Her selfless act of forgiving the tribesmen who killed her father was a vivid example of how faith in Jesus can heal even the deepest wounds and bring people together. Her willingness to forgive and love those who had taken her father's life was a testament to the depth of her faith and her commitment to sharing the love of Christ with others. Through her visit to the Wadani tribe, Rachel Saint helped to build bridges between the Wadani people and the outside world. She demonstrated that love and forgiveness are the keys to breaking down barriers and building relationships between people, regardless of their background or history. Her selfless love and devotion to the Wadani people inspired many others to follow in her footsteps and continue to serve and love the Wadani people. Thank you for joining us today on Parables of Proverbs. We hope that the story of Nate Saint and his family has touched your heart and inspired you in your own faith journey. We invite you to join us next time for another episode, where we will delve into the life of another hero of faith. Until then, may God bless you and keep you.